let's get started with this uh today we're gonna review five pesas mobile app now this application is pretty exhaustive just to give you a brief introduction this application is pretty exhaustive in terms of number of features it has um across investing products now be it equity be it insurance mutual funds they've got all covered within this mobile application now you can see on the top top left here there is a menu that says trade this is for equity or stock market trading be it currency or commodity or derivatives then there are mutual funds insurance so at a very high level you can see that there are multiple sort of segments you can put your money into using this mobile application now once you log into the application they have a free guest login once you log into the application this is the screen you find it shows you nifty and sensex the top indices at the very top nifty 50 to a basic sort of an overview then you can use features such as stock finder you can put your money into mutual funds you can put your money through insurance invest in ipos so basically they have kept everything one click away on a very systematic design now let's start with the first part we'll start with the nifty 50 uh, sort of a widget here once you click on that you can have the idea of different stocks within nifty 50 you can add different watch lists as per your preference we'll keep uh, with this one for now then you can see the right part middle right of uh, the screen there's a blue arrow here if you tap on that you can get a quick glimpse of the specific stocks across segments now market movers gainers and losers it tells you how is the market moving at a positive and negative level you don't really need to get deep into that now if you want to just have a small glimpse or summary this is what um, sort of helps you out now if you want to check out a specific stock let's say we go ahead with access bank you want to put your order click on buy or sell if you want to have the details click on the details uh, sort of a widget menu item here now you get the basic information over at lc open high low close price now we are recording this video post the market hours so it will not move as such while the duration of this video you can look at the charts features now it gives you the mountain level charts at a very default level for one day frequency you can obviously change it to one month you can do it for three months and similarly as per your preferences you can change the duration of this particular charting item click on advanced charts now it gives you a different sort of view you can go into the exhaustive levels of technical or fundamental analysis now number of charts here are limited you get only three charts to select from there's a candle chart there is colored bar and there is mountain tap on one of them the chart look and feel the display the chart changes and it really matters the kind of a trader or investor you are different people have different preferences in the way they want to look the charts at and that is why they have different options you can make use of different studies MACD moving average or RSI or different kinds of studies are available um, in form of around 10 to 12 here you can put in some values as per your requirement different people do it differently technical analysis or fundamental analysis long term investments or short term duration gains then at the same time there are different drawing tools you can use now these are different areas that you can exploit using this application as far as the analysis part is concerned going back this was done for one specific uh, sort of a script here you can do it for any number it really doesn't really matter here then there is search now this feature basically helps you to figure out a specific script you want to uh, look into i have just checked out sbi and infosys stocks you can go ahead and use somebody else's if you want to let's say i want to check out uh, kotak security i want to just tap at kotak now all these scripts under kotak are going to be listed here within equity mutual funds or oh, sorry futures options or currency futures and derivatives at currency level so all sort of scripts will be displayed in front of you again you can just perform the same analysis we want to uh, for that uh, particular script coming back market snapshot quick level analysis of market stop gainers losers derivatives indices you can just have a quick glimpse a lot of people just keep on doing that every now and then just want to have a short sort of a sort of shortcut that they want to just have a look how the market moving which particular stocks are making most of the news and that is where this kind of feature comes into play so that's market snapshot you can always set up a price alert now if i want to invest in a stock um, my probably friend or my financial advisor had told me about but i want to buy it at my price the kind of price i am comfortable with so you just 
find that out first which stock uh, we are looking at let's say uh, for this example i'm looking at sbi itself now at the top right part of the screen you see there are two icons there's a plus sign there is a bell thing click on the bell one it's for price alert now i can do it for less than or equal to or greater than or equal to looking at the fact that either i'm looking to buy it or sell it now let's say i am looking to buy this particular stock and obviously i want to buy it at a smaller price now this 291 is the current market price i want to wait and see when it reaches 275 now once i do that i can just add a message if i want to otherwise i can just set an alert now if i go back to the my pri uh, price alerts part this is the alert that has been set already when this particular stocks hits that mark of 275 i will be notified through this application now i don't really need to be logged in to get the notification this can be available to me through an in-app notification itself margin calculation this is something really unique um, they have provided it in the free version you don't really need to open the account with five pesa uh, to search for this now let's say i want to uh, put my money but before that i want to calculate the kind of margin i would be looking at um, for the consistency i'm going to just go ahead with access once i type access you see there are different scripts already in place for me displayed and there are different dates i can just pick in let's say i'm going to go ahead with uh, 22nd of february i click on calculate and the margin requirement you can see that 85,290 rupees is the margin requirement for this particular script in future segment i can do all kinds of permutations and combinations for futures and similarly for options call and put prices i can play with the quantity and i can play with the kind of transaction type buy or sell and i can get the kind of values um, i'll be looking at so this is available for free again then there is a feature for news now this is really crucial uh, to understand simply because um, if i want to have the understanding of news i don't really need to have a different app for that this application just tells me that um, right now i'm just tapping from bottom to top and different news are just coming in front of me now these are specific feeds coming from different websites you can see the uh, bottom right part it says a source business standard so i don't really need the app of business standard all the kinds of relevant news will be given to me from different sources this is a business standard similarly economic times is there india info lines so all kinds of feeds are available to me within this application itself so news part is covered this is all about trading now, if I want to trade in the stock market, I've got all covered within this application. Let's say I want to invest in mutual funds. Now, mutual funds is also pretty exhaustive here. Um, they give you some sort of pointers. Now, there are two options. Either I can handpick my funds myself. So, if I have the understanding of which kinds of funds I'm looking to put my money into, then I'll go for option one. Otherwise, you can always use the second option of choosing funds based on my profile. We'll try out both um, one by one. Let's say I go for hand-picked stocks. Now, they tell me uh, what kind of stocks are available right now. And I can always select a scheme and choose the different kinds of funds as per my preference. Now, they have a listing of all AMCs. First of all, I can pick and choose. Um, I'm going to keep it at all. They have asset type, so different mutual fund types, right? Equity, debt, and hybrid stocks or other mutual funds are available. Within sectors, they have sort of uh, bifurcated. And then there is growth and uh, the dividend kind of mutual fund. So all kinds of uh, filters are available to me. Um, I can click on one of them. Click on details. Now they tell me the performance of this particular mutual fund, growth fund it is. Now they tell me the uh, performance of this mutual fund in the last few uh, years. It tells me that if I go for a short term profit, it's not going to be helpful. Minus 8% it has seen. They've benchmarked it with S&P BSE index. Uh, if I go for one year, it gives me 39.52%. So that's the kind of performance this particular stock has seen. And obviously, this one is an emerging business fund. So the risk factor is relatively higher. It really comes down to that point and what kind of uh, risk appetite you have. Now, not just only that, um, this performance part, they give you the basic introduction of the scheme and where this money, the fund uh, money has been allocated in different sectors. I can just tap on that and then I can get the 
sort of bifurcation of a different sectors they have put my money for investment so that's the way to look at a fund screeners now this is the way i look at it when i do myself when i know which particular stock to choose which particular mutual fund to pick uh, to invest my money otherwise they can always uh, come back to you and they say that i, I can do my profiling um, and this tool, tool is going to help me with that first up it asks you your age i'm putting it at 34 then they ask me how experienced are you in the investment market do you have any experience basic understanding or a strong understanding or an experienced one let's say i'll go with basic understanding for this one now they ask you the definition of risk in financial context how do you look at risk do you look at a risk as a danger is it uncertainty for you is it an opportunity for you is it thrill is it adventurous for you so what's your definition so for the sake of this video i'm gonna keep it at uncertainty then if in an investment first thing what do you look at do you look at maximizing your returns or minimizing your losses or you balance both again we'll go with the balancing part now they say you would invest in a portfolio with the possibility of so what the what's the way you look at uh, at an investment you look at return eight percent no risk zero risk some risk moderate risk high risk that's the way they put it let's say i'll go with return 12 percent and lose five percent and if you put money in a store in a mutual fund right uh, how long are you gonna stay with that if it goes down 15 percent in the first two months you were thinking of three years how would you react so would you sell everything you got in your portfolio you will sell some part of it you will hold on to the store the whole sort of portfolio you have or you think it is an opportunity you'll buy more because you see that the market is down 15 percent you might not get this opportunity later so you actually stack up these particular mutual funds more into this uh, portfolio of yours so what's to your way so again i'm gonna look at partial sell for this one they tell me that your risk profile is conservative and based on that they gonna uh, put money money and uh, recommend me some mutual funds here so these are the three mutual funds they have sort of suggested me through their tool and i can pick and choose as per them they've got a segregation of all kinds of mutual funds that i can put my money and they've given the return percentage as well so that's the way you use the mutual funds sip part